flexible pick. He can go in for the top lane, uh, mid lane, even jungle, I think. Yeah, it, even jungle. Yeah, we were watching a while ago the LPL. LPL, yeah. Granted, though, it didn't work out too much because they got really hard countered by a three-man uh, three tank team. Yeah, that they couldn't reach the... The back the line. The back line yeah. at all. Despite being very mobile, the, uh, they had a Cassidy and they had a Fizz. They had the has Assassins to yeah. kill the carries. But yeah, so first pick Thresh here. Yeah, so so Thresh, yeah, probably for the support of chess gaming here. You know, as a king, you want to get yourself a lot of utility or, you know, lots of options to use when you're yeah. playing in that chess board. So yes. SLU have that... Uh, locked in with the thresh, you know the th um, the death sentence allowing you to get hooks from very far away, um, dark patches, dark passages for either a follow up um, gank yeah. or a an escape mechanism. Yeah, actually, I want to say something. Actually, yeah, sure. Go, 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 go. Because uh, they banned the Rek'Sai, they banned the Graga, and now it's like Elise and Nidalee is open. Makikita kaya natin sila? I kind of wonder. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like PUP will actually get the Elise. Granted, Elise has been pretty buffed in the uh, I think this patch 5.14 yeah her cocoon is super long right now before it was one second and 1.6 seconds so at the first level pa lang yun, first ba? level pa lang. so oh, you can actually just um, keep feeding points your skill points into either in double and yeah, skittering frenzy giving the spider links a bit more kick mm -hmm. as well as yung um, volatile spider that volatile spider that um, exploding um, Energy shaped like a spider. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And her uh, nerve toxic bite as well. Mm -hmm. So this actually give Elise a lot of let's say early game damage as well as of course yung kanyang um, ganking, ganking potential has been heightened more yes. because of that uh, increased cocoon time. Yeah. So look at this though, so SLU. You know. I like this pick since like yung. Elise kasi has to still, well, she is a conventional jungler that you have to go in to the lanes in like the, uh, the ordinary way. You have yeah. to go to either the tribe rush, the lane gank, or the from the river. Yeah. With, with a Nocturne, you can actually come in from the jungle. Pala, from or, anywhere. From yeah. actually anywhere. As long as you're in the range. Of yeah. Your... Plus, if you like, you don't have uh, good communication or you don't have comms. I'm just saying about the solo kill, the guys. Huh? Um, if you're not able to talk to your teammates, you don't know where actually the gang of Nocturne will come because dark screen, right? Yeah, dark you can't screen. see the map, you can't see anything. Rather, you can't see like fog of war other than your vision. So, lots of, let's, let's just say, a presence coming in from this Nocturne but when you he gets level 6. You can still pick. That is true, yeah, you can still pick from that. So, it's gonna be a top lane Maokai for SLU. So, Maokai. Still a pretty good top laner. All of his utility is still there. Standard. Very, yeah, very standard. Very standard pick there. Coming in from SLU. Top lane Aurelia. Actually a standard pick in yeah. the Philippine scene. If she gets fed, she will carry the game. But I like this though. PUP with a safe lane. Or, yeah, there you go. PUP with a yeah, safe lane. PUP? Yeah. So it's the Caitlyn and the Janna. Yeah. So it's just gonna you're gonna be feeding her your shields so that the uh, Caitlyn will be able to tank uh, or rather to soak up a little bit more damage coming in from the Sivir mm -hmm. as well as that Thresh and then of course the Howling Guild in the Caitlyn when you the Thresh you can counter him out just a little bit and then your traps yes it can be um, how do you say this uh, um, put aside by the spell shield of the Sivir okay. but you can't you're not just only putting one trap your little snap trap in your lane it's like three traps so but malemo you activate the spell shield on one and then activate them sa your trap and then the extended range of that Caitlyn will just be able to get a bit of damage onto you without you putting that damage onto her. So pretty much basic to say Caitlyn and um, John here, pretty safe lane. As for the Thresh and Sivir, pretty safe, safe lane because you know Ricochet and Boomerang Blade of course time and time again is a really really good uh, wave clear mechanism as well as yeah safe pars armor yeah parsan last hit under turret is kind of easy with the ricochet because it allows you to reset your auto attack so para one auto attack ricochet is pa ulit so yeah. you can actually um, clean waves clean waves pretty quickly with that yeah you can siege pretty well then if you if you can do the wave clears and here we have though nothing nothing too fancy nothing surprising in the picks here unlike you know, yeah. Yung ibang nakita natin mid lane Nautilus yung previous natin na nakita. So <laughs> right? anyway yeah. though, akala ko ilalaki nila yung Corky kasi they had this they have the Serath 
And if you lock in the Corky, it's gonna be like poke galore. Diba? And they were actually hovering onto it. And they were choosing between Severe or Corky, but they still decides onto the more hard engage combined with the Maokai and true. then the all in with the Nocturne as well. So they do have a great disengage though. They do have the Janna on PUP side just to counter that as well. And they have also the backline dash from the Aurelia, yes. right? And yeah, Victor late game, I don't like that at all. It's yeah. like the damage is ridiculously awesome. <laughs> awesome. Ridiculously <laughs> awesome. So <laughs> So if ever you do have task us watching us guys, yeah. Nah. Yeah guys. Subconsciously Sup, Riku just shout <laughs> shouted to you guys. Shout it out to you guys and still made a pretty nice <laughs> yeah. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so per looking into like the composition itself from PUP, it looks like they want to win their lanes. Uh, with the addition of that Elise. Cause mm. in terms of clashes, I'm just saying another guy. There's like you said, there's poke coming in from the Zera. There's the frontline um Maokai here coming in from the top of SLU. And they also have the Doctor for the engage and of course some Oh, paranoia. Mm, the paranoia. The confusion that gives in when you're looking at the screen and then you can't see your teammates. You don't know where they are, so that actually helps out SLU in the clashes as well as Yung on the hunt of Sivir. And then if it goes well with them, on the hunt can be complemented immediately by a death sentence because it boosts the movement speed of Thresh. Malemo, he can get a death sentence from far away. We've seen it happen time and time again. So. Um, Nikoba, I have a question for you. You are playing Elise Jungle right now. Uh, no, not so much. Not so much. But if you are going to build Elise right now, how would you build an Elise? Uh, first item, actually, all throughout, AP items. For, AP. for me, for me. For you, for you. Yeah. So that's your style. Yeah, recent because like I said, Rune Glaive actually got changed, diba? Na hindi na siya gumagana. Uh, doesn't work that well with the lane. Lane, laner uh, Rune Glaive, like Ezreal. Uh, Diana na yung, I think it's the auto attack doesn't proc on the uh, creeps anymore. Yeah. No, so no. it can't really give you that like harass pag na QC as well. It actually um, pumotok sa creeps and trap it doesn't work like that. But yeah. it changes na, I think double the damage on the first uh, monster that you hit in the camp. Yeah, in the camp. Ito nga yung sinasabi natin. Before nakita natin yung top lane smite, sobrang sobrang popular. Yeah. Like it's like it has been a standard for a couple of weeks, and then we read somewhere in our riot wants to keep the smite in the jungle because these pro players natin, I'm really really amazed because napaka creative nila. I mean, smite usually equals just to to the, the to the jungle, pero parang yeah. they managed to think of all these different. Combinations that they can do. Guys, don't be afraid to experiment. Malay mo may madiscover kayo na hindi na discover ng mga pros, de ba? And then ipauso nyo yan and, that and all that, all that stuff. And it's really rewarding and it's very fun then to experiment talaga. Do not stick with the same build because there are so many ways to build and play a champion. Yeah. Also, another synergy, synergy ni pala na nahalata o coming in from SLU when paranoia actually comes off and there are. Like very low HP members coming in from uh, PUB, active uh -huh. beasts. There's the Zera who can actually use his ultimate, ultimate. Right, right of the arcane. Oh yeah. I mean, and they actually won't notice it too much. Have to activate paranoia, so that might be like an easier way to get off that right of the arcane. Because sometimes uh, pro players or even high tier players are able to dodge that pretty fast yes. or pretty quickly. Yeah, Victor so, Panamano. Yes. Parang ang ang pagtingin ko sa Victor players, yung mga magagaling talaga na Victor players, magaling sila mag micro. Like they have their dancing shoes or something. Yeah, I, it all comes down kasi nag start tayo dun sa when Victor came out, his dance is shuffling. So, his feet are really moving. What's his dance? What? Shuffling. Yung I can't show it. It's <laughs> Yung everyday of shuffling. Yung <laughs> Tala, everyday of shuffling. Ganun? Yeah, yeah. Pakita natin, pag nag-dance uh, nag animation yung Victor, I'll show it to you. Yes, okay guys, we are witnessing <laughs> once again. This is the LOL Collegiate League Summer Term. You're watching the first match for today. This is SLU versus PUP. And on the blue side, we have the Smite. What? Smite Vicious? I mean Smite. <laughs> a Nocturne here by Knight. And have you know at the top lane with the Maokai. For the bottom lane duo, we have Pawn and Tet with the Sivir and the Thresh combo. And for the mid lane, we have the Seraph by... Niwe. 
Yeah, and for <laughs> the red side team, we have POP active beasts in a top lane. It's gonna be Spiral on that Irelia in a jungle. It's gonna be Melt with the Elise in the mid lane. Victor, it's gonna be Kenji who this guy, and in the bottom lane duo we have, wow, Caitlyn used by JJ Breezy. JJ Breezy and his support Peel Queen Jana will be the boy. The boy. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's like you have to do it every time. Yeah, know, right? <laughs> so like, if you get a kill, whoa, Jaja Breezy with the ace in the hole, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, such a bad boy, Asurai. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the game will resume. They're just fixing their stats. I mean, their settings here. Just making sure everybody's connected, and they are loading. I mean, they are on the rift. Yeah. Um, players don't remember this probably. Yung or like, parang hindi nila na um, marerealize na before, like before the uh, the change to like the Summoner's Rift. Um, hindi siya hindi sila parang nagpo pop ng ganon di ba? What do you mean? Yung parang poof 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 poof. Yung oh, nalabas yeah. sila sa oh. sa stage. Yeah, man. I kind of remembered. Yung parang Pag nagsisimula na tinatimingan ko talaga yung chum 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 chum. Yeah. Uh, it's really fun. Kasi diba, wala din kasi parang barrier dun sa um, pagka-spawn mo, diba? It's uh -huh. like 15 seconds into the game pa. But so, uh, before, you can actually just go out into the rift immediately. And actually, I think this actually helps out yung mga slower to buy players. Kasi if you're really fast to buy, you can immediately set up your ward, your trinkets, your wards. Uh, if you're gonna do like a five man death squad like um, chess gaming is doing right here. And I don't know, it just allows them to parang equalize palam yung pagkalabas mo ng base for these two teams. Or for both, for, re for either red side or blue side. Okay, look at that. Sarah went home. So it's immediately like four people, actually three people right now in the riverside from SLU. Are they gonna be able to catch someone though? Looks like not. Ah, natakot ako ng slide eh, kasi baka masandwich yung three players. Kasi naiwan yung tatlo, nakuwi na si Serath. Yeah, and granted though, all the members Boom! of um, PUP here are relatively squishy. Probably the Irelia is a, li a little bit more tanky at, compared to his other teammates. But kung makatama ng death sentence, si Pawn here, they might be in trouble. Wow. In the level one scenario, there. Yep. Yeah, no, this is standard start for people. Konti lang yung, yung risk. Siguro ang gusto nila i interrupt yung Raptor start ni Maokai kanina, but they anticipated it and hindi na nag push through yung level two ni Maokai agad, yung yeah. style ng top laners. So natin. I think like Maokai is one of the better top laners to be able to clear a camp even without the smite. Yeah. Because of that uh, sapling. Sapling. Yar, yar, yar. Oh, that's it. And that, and the Judge Breezy gets a lot of damage from that. Half HP, though. That's not what you want. Yeah. Technically, you think, though, that the Caitlyn would be safe in her lane with the Janna. But of course, you still have to be pretty mindful of those. That sentence is coming in from the Thresh. Because if those hit, it's going to be an easier time for the Sivir to actually land her damage combo onto you. That's actually free damage as well because you're not going to be able to auto-attack because you're still, you know, fearing being in that hook. And then bombing follow up with a Flay, you're still in the range of the Thresh as well as the Sivir. So yeah. just have to be mindful, guys, when you're going to go against the Sivir. And the Thresh combination in that bottom lane. Combination. Shout out to Professor GM Cairo X. Yeah, we miss you, dude. <laughs> Wherever you may be. <laughs> you know where he is. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Sarah is running out of mana at the moment from the poke. See, they're equal naman in CS, eh, so there's no problem there. It's just that Andito si Knight with the early gag. There's the slow, there's everything flashes everywhere from both the stun lands, even the fear, and the kill will go to the Sarah first blood for chess game. I like this coming in from Chess Gaming, just utilizing that Nocturne level 3 power. That does bring her, if you guys didn't know, it actually, if I'm not mistaken, increases your AD damage as well. For the no wow! Wow, nasan yung Ignite? Oh wait, exhaust pala. Sorry, my bad. No, but still, that, that, that them hooks, man, from Pond. Yeah, ang galing ni, ano, ni Pond dito. That's like the, uh, the second death sentence. Two out of two connecting so far into the game, dealing lots of damage and forcing Judge Breezy. Okay, no summoner spells 
yet being used. Pero super low na siya. No pots. Habang meron pa tong potion si Severe natin. Yes. And just back to what I was saying, Dustbringer does give you a bit more AD as well as that movement speed boost when you're able to uh, connect that um, dark pathing onto yes. a person. And then, ang ganda ng combination niya na even though na nag flash away si Kenji Hu, the tether, the fear, actually still connected and it feared him. And then, follow up na lang na stun si Liu Wei. Mm -hmm. Liu here. And then, it was just a free kill for them. Ang galing nga eh. Meron pa siyang natitirang mana for those, for the two spells that was activated. Yung Q niya and then the, the, the slow and the stun. Yes. Worked out really well for the first blood. And to Sarah as well. And that would be a very big boost, especially for the mana region for him. Spiral and you know at the top lane trading it out. Mila, look at that. There's a spider in the mid lane. Kenji is being feared. He is out of position at the moment. They're concentrating their damage onto Melt. Yu is super low. He does land the stun and the laser. Will not be able to slide him out. Snipe him out rather, but that's the spider getting the kill onto the Sarah. Wow, that's just the power right now of that uh, Elise. You know, just that little buff on her, or that, that buff on her just gives gives her a lot more skirmishing potential. And yeah. it's just, I don't know, these two teams, uh, or rather, um, PUP there, just a good amount of like, how do you do this? Like juggling your opponent's, um, what's the. Juggling opponent's aggro? It's oh, not yeah. aggro, it's like attention, there you attention. go. Attention! Yeah, and they were able to do that successfully. And nakita mo kasi parang may miscommunication na nangyayari sa LCU. Sino bang tutunan natin? It's gonna be Melt Bowers si Kenji Yu, and then immediately, uh, and then they just died right after. Yeah. Parang ano, na-imagine ko sa comms. It's like, uh, kunwari, dito sa bot lane, Jujubri, Jujubri, I mean, <laughs> Kate, 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 Kate! And then pag mala, pag hindi na natin... Jujubri, Jujubri! Oops, my bad. I mean, the champion. Champion na lang, not the okay. names of the players. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So yung ganun, yung parang kunwari, all five kayo, nasa G-Talk kayo, tapos ganun kayo mag-call ng priorities, di ba? Yeah. So, oh, gotta go Kate, breezy in this yeah, bottom lane, son. Gotta go breezy. So parang, Kate, 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 Kate. tapos pag-switch target, oh, Elise, 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 oh, he finds the Serat. Look at the spider lane, is really hurting right now, melting the Serat. Melt is still chasing, going at it, one auto attack na lang, and that would be enough. Elise is getting the kills, meanwhile, here in the top lane, you know, doesn't want this anymore. I will go back to my lane, baka na lubong niyang spider. Here comes Knight to try to save the day and be a knight. And ngayon, EJ regrets his decision, gets the cocoon and the spiral. Irelia will get the kill. Yeah, and that's just the power. Well, of the lockdown coming in from the Elise, as well as the Irelia actually just bullying out the Maokai. You saw there that I think Yuno wanted to respond to his king, or rather, uh, was it queen? Because it's like a king, not as a silver. Eh? Yeah. The queen, which is new, eh? And then he just got followed by the spiraling Irelia. Mm. It's just, uh, you know, immediate. Parang, how do you say this? Knowing where your opponent will be. And it's following through. Hinabul na talaga nila doon. And then, mispos misposition, in my opinion, coming in talaga from you know there. You know there. You know who. <laughs> si, <laughs> si Maokai. So, <laughs> good one, man. So, anyway, yeah. I'd like to uh, bring uh, up something. Si Siv HD, di ba? You know him. Yeah, of one course. of his old videos featured Severe na parang, oh, do you see this Caitlyn trap? That is not the Caitlyn trap. That's a mana pot <laughs> by Sivir. Wow. Get, get it? I get it, I get it. Okay. When the spell shield actually hit, gets hit by a spell, you get, a ma you get mana back. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. So, <laughs> yeah, here we see a lot of presence Sky Melt actually going in the jungle kanina from uh, sa SLU, diving deep and very fearless. Because he niya. Kahit alam niya nang nandun yung doctor, may ward. They have this uh, pink ward there that will be spotted by Nocturne. No, he passes by it. He doesn't notice the pink ward. Okay, he's going back. I I see it. Oh, there you no, go. There you go. There you go. There you there go. go. Alright, so just um, a factor that I just noticed as this game progressed. Yes, there is around a thousand gold lead coming in from PUP. And this actually, uh, in my opinion, greatly benefits them but because if you look at it who got the kills 
It's the mid lane Elise, or rather the jungle, jungle Elise. Elise. And she's not going for a tank Elise build. Rather, her first item's not a tank Elise build, but before that, there's oh, Clash here. Oh, look at that. Gravity field being laid out there. No mana pala tong si Scythe, pero... Scythe, rather, si Scythe. Pero pumasok siya. So I'm I'm guessing wal, hindi niya na-connect yung fear niya. Yes. He immediately flashed away because he saw the Elise there and he said, I think I might bite more off than I can chew. Just back off. Yeah. You know, just be a bit safe right now. They know that uh, PUP have the advantage. And back to what I was saying about the advantage, who, got the kill, who gets the kills? It's two kills for the Elise, which is, which is actually building a damage-heavy Elise, meaning she's not going to go for tanky. She's going to opt to go in for a lot of early game damage. And then, as for the top lane, it's an Aurelia who goes for a Sheen immediately. So, uh, just going to tell to us that she's going to go for a Triforce, just yeah, be able standard. to bully yeah, standard. With, but still be able to pull out that Maokai in the top lane. Look at that, so much damage with the hit and style and the Sheen prop. Rabbit, the tree running. I will trap you into the turret. Aggro, Spiral, they can turn it in. Lona Shaw, will this be an outplay? Yes! The tree does get the kill onto the Aurelia. Wow, ang ganda ng tansya nun yun. Tansya nun yun. Tansya nun yun. That was just a bit too over-aggressive coming in from Spiral. He didn't need to go ham onto Yuno, you know, who's already getting the CS advantage as well as the lane control. And this actually might have worked better for PUP if they just, you know, um, just harass Yuno know, rather than try to get the kill on him because it might have forced Knight to go into the top lane, leaving his bottom lane and mid lane um, susceptible to the ganks coming in from Melt. And Melt right now, like I've said, is going for a damage-heavy Elise. That Moonbabe is um, done for her. So yeah. he'll be able to be a bit more annoying as the skirmishes do happen. It looks like they're gonna ping this dragon right now. The teleport is up for Spiral as well as you know. So if ever this does um, go into fruition, it will be a 5v5 flash. Yeah, they're cleaning out the wards now. They want this uh, vision control over the dragon side. Yeah, and actually look at this. Kenji who opted to go in for yes, he didn't actually build any of his uh, like opponents for a Mor Morelnomicon or a, a Rabadons. He actually opted to go in for his um, his Upgrade. Victor item. Yeah, and he upgraded the the uh, sorry Death Ray as well as the upgraded Gravity. But before that, there's gonna be a clash. Of wow, look at that Gravity being laid out. Great flash just to dodge the stun. Look at the ultimate from UA. Teleport will come up from top. He has a blue buff. Will it matter where the cooldown? He doesn't have the stun just yet. And that was Spiral getting the kill. Meanwhile, you know is not in a good position at the moment. Chaos Star being laid out there. And a couple of members from SLU will come by to try and do something. But that won't matter. That's a two for zero for PUP. Yeah, I just like how reactive PUP plays right now. Kenji, I have to give it to him. He was able to use that gravity field to zone out Knight, and Knight couldn't follow through. His uh, fear was able to go into Kenji, and then um, the UA didn't have enough damage to get the job done and give that immediate kill onto Kenji. And it was just uh, the faster response won for PUP. Yeah. SLU were a bit too late to the party, and I don't know. Namatay na si New Way. Or rather, he was he got uh, chased down by Spiral. He died immediately. And then, well, Knight and you know can actually do anything against um, Melt, yeah. Spiral, and Kenju. That's just a 3 beat situation with damage dealers in all sides. Yeah. Uh, all of them were practically there no, for the party. Medyo yeah. late na itong si, na, si Pon, No? Yes. And... Actually, with actually, oh sorry, too much actually is there. When Pawn responded into the mid to try and save his teammates, um, Spiral, or oh, sorry, the boy and Jeje Breezy actually forced um, King here to use his flash as well as his heal. Oh yeah. So uh, even the advantage that they actually had a little bit in the bottom lane disappeared when they went a little bit to. Um, or rather, when PUP went aggressive and whoa, did actually Melt steal the blue? Or rather, yeah, I didn't mean to. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't mean to. Yeah, and I don't know, maybe it's just because the Vector went for the 
Just say, oh. Oh, look at yes. that. He actually goes in, and the Maokai actually being stunned there with the gravity field. Great monsoon by the boy, pushing you now in a bad position. The look at the stun. He wants to kill onto oh, the wow. Kenji for that. Nui getting lasered, and right now, Mel really leading the front lines. Goes to Nui with the Terra, doesn't have mana, and that is a killing spree at least. The gravity field as well. Cocoon hits once again, not able to do anything. You SLU, they cannot react to this lockdown comp. Kenji, who, oh my, three, that's four kills across the board for PUP, oh my. Yeah, and granted, Kenji, who didn't even have damage items to begin with, he just complimented the respawn coming in from the boy as well as Melt. And you saw it paid off for them, and he even used the Chaos Storm the last hit. Yeah, uh, for the you know for the there. Maokai. Yeah, that was pretty funny. And and I really like this pickup. Does Victor Ba usually get the I Ionian Boots of Lucidity? No, um, de ba? I just go. Um, I'm just gonna say there's like two builds right now that you can opt to go in for the Victor. There's the CDR Vic, uh, CDR Utility Victor that will actually scale into the late game because you're opting to go in for his util utility in his items. Mm -hmm. Most likely that's the Aeonian Boots of the City as well yeah. as the two upgrades on his passive item which is either the, the Death Ray and the... Whoa! And the Gravity Fear Bonus. Oh, Jeju Breezy actually caught out there. Wasn't able to do anything that sentence. Will not connect. Does he have the Flay? Ah, the boy doesn't have mana but the boy will live. Yeah, they don't... They didn't went too aggressive onto that. Yeah, they don't have vision, so they don't didn't want to risk it. Yeah, Siguro. they don't want to risk it. So one kill onto Jeje Breezy, but that kill actually went to um, Mike here, who actually goes in for a devourer. Okay, so yeah. that's not too bad though. Standard. So Nocturne. this Nocturne will go for the more aggressive Nocturne build rather than you know just being. Sometimes you going for the full tank Nocturne, just use your utility as a scare to your opponents rather than your damage output. Yeah. Still, this is a pretty good deal coming in from him. Whoa, can you hear? A bit aggressive. I, yeah, tried to assassinate the tree, but I'd like to point out the three pink wards by SLU, the chess gaming. This is a bottom side jungle, nila red side. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Never think it Yeah. Yeah. It's just you know pink wards be able to stop the aggression coming in from PUP because right now PUP are well doing what they want in the games. So the boy is so fast responding for Kenji. I think it was like two times already that uh, SLU actually opted to go gank in mid, and then it was always either the boy or Mel responding fast enough that. It turns around into the favor of PUP, and wow, that's a very close cocoon. A little yeah, bit too almost. close for comfort there on the new way. Or new way. Yeah, new way. And blue turret has been destroyed. Hindi nila na defend yung bottom side nila. So it's one for three turrets dito in favor of PUP. And right now, they kind of want to siege mid. There are no objectives to take so far. Wala pang dragon. One minute pa. They're just poking each other out. Mukhang nahuli itong Victor natin. Uses a flash. But that's an unstoppable. Unstoppable at least right now. You know, trying to tank all the damage of PUP. Napasakit mo pa rin. And that is Jeja Breezy taking the kill. Oh! oh it, yes, it does. He and the hesitation of of trying to block, hindi na abot ni ni Chess Gaming that dito, no? Nakita natin, oh, napaka aggressive di Jaji Breezy, gusto niya parin ng kill, and I, wow. I think his cooldown wasn't still up, so he was actually fearing that he might die himself. For the spell shield. Yeah, he was actually just waiting for the spell shield to go on cooldown, and there wasn't enough time, and you were just was a little bit unlucky in terms of like the timing or the cooldowns coming in from King. Plastic na yon ng barrier nag expire and then boom. Yeah. Diba? Like, I thought he was gonna live, but the barrier just expired for, for Sarah Tito. Kay Nui. Oh, well, that's another turret for PUP. And right now, all the lanes are shoved in. Yeah, the active beast's favor. Yeah, this is just such a snowball team coming in from PUP. Just when. They got the kills onto that Elise as well as the Aurelia. It just started to go wrong right now for SLU. And then LCLU made a few mistakes that they over, or rather, they got a, a good, some good ganks or initiated ganks themselves. But the problem was they weren't able to finish it off. And 
PUP, we're just able to say, oh hey, you don't have any more cooldowns, you don't have, you used everything that you had to try to get the kill and still didn't get the kill. The guy's gonna go on to you. And wow, JJ Breezy is so aggressive. Sobrang Breezy, and you will not <laughs> be able to show us a move that you will be yeah, yeah. dead right now in this flash. That's a 4v5 straight out. Scythe actually is super low at the moment. Kayla Storm being laid out onto the rift, and that is Mel tied to the front line. That is him. That is her being safe right now. Spiral super low. Look at the flash. That great barrier from the Janna right there. And that's like Whoa. four people alive. Oh dear. That's the Zonya's being laid out. Even the gravity field killing spree. Nasi Kenji. And the lasers just hurt so much. Double, double kill na. And that'll be a triple kill as well. Sobrang linis non. Oh my god. Saif actually flashes away. Takot sa laser. Na ibibitaw sana nitong Victor natin. That's... Wow, dominating. Ang ganda ng management, no? Yeah. The clash na yun. Yeah, even though it's a full time situation, all the AOE as well as, yeah, the management of damage output coming in from SLU and the timely shields coming in from the boy actually saves a lot of his teammates. And then, I don't know if that was a misclick or just a bait coming in from Kenji who he uses the Zonias without his teammates and then immediately PUP positions in the brush without the vision yeah. coming in from SLU. And then, akala na SLU is gonna be a free kill on the yeah. Victor. Yeah. Oh, okay, we messed up. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bad boy ass, right? <laughs> ano, naglay agad siya ng gravity field. And then, akala ko din kasi, itong si Mel, mamamatay din sa class na yun. Biglang nag -rappel. And, bumagsak siya somewhere. I forgot who. Oh, Sai, that's a great shield just to cancel out the cocoon. And right now, look at that. You know, going in. Mel is super low at the moment. Has the shield. Rappels onto who? Onto the Maokai. Look at that. And will not be able to be alive. That's a great dark passage. Kenji will be caught out here. That's a righteous glory as well. Zonya, Sandita, and Spira. I will try to save the day. Try to disrupt the backlights of SNU wow. at the moment. Double kill dito ngayon si Victor. But he will not die just yet. He survives all the all-ins from Chess Gaming. I cannot believe it. Just, wow, Kenji who is... Told you, man. He Every is, day I'm shuffling. Yeah, he's just shuffling everything that's coming out of SLU. Grant, and his build as well is, in my opinion, the safe build coming in from the Vectors. Wow! Okay, wow. I mean, wow. I mean, wow. Not, wow. <laughs> wow, that was really... She just took all the hits. She actually even has on the hunt, but hesitated to use it for some reason. Yeah. I guess she can't escape from the law. From the ah, oh, I got it, man. <laughs> from the law. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jeje Breezy. Yeah, Jeje Breezy <laughs> just doing the Wii U, Wii U, Wii U, Wii U. <laughs> Hold on, no, officer. Yeah. Officer. Can't escape from the law there, guys. But honestly, I just have to give it to Kenji. This build coming in from him is actually working out. He gets um easier time to put down his uh, get out his skills and then immediately have a faster cooldown to be able to uh, use them again. As well as yung Q nya actually gives him a shield. Yeah. So, and he has a pretty relatively low cooldown for him, but before that, it's gonna be a clash of top lane. Wow, despite being the fresh being caught out, Knight actually still decides to go in. Even the Maokai as well, that's a double Whoa. kill for the elite. Great Monsoon just to disrupt you know That's actually going in front of everybody from BUP. That's not where you wanna be. You know, super low at the moment. And right now, it's all of them chasing down Yue. Tanks for the tree, and he will be the next one to fall. Even the tree gets cut down. That's what, that will be an ace for PUP. Yeah, I just want. Oh, sorry, you got that, guys. That's a four v five. Wow, look at that. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that forty five situation. I don't know. It looks like SLU were a bit tilting in that clash, uh, or yeah. rather, it's just them being a bit too over aggressive. They're trying to get the picks without the proper setups, and then yeah. PUP is able to capitalize onto them. And back to what I just saw. Kenji Hu is Q, the one that gives him the shield, is on a 2.8 second cooldown. Oh, wow. wow so he's able... It's like a barrier, a mini barrier in his hands that he can use in, in 2.8 seconds. Plus he has the gravity field to be able to... Oh, I'm going to face And actually this works well for him. Because yeah. most of the members of SLU actually have to be in melee range to be able to deal their damage. Uh, possibly the Nocturne, the Maokai, even the Thresh at some point. And then, 
ano eh, sila yung para magiging initiators, diba? And then the Gravity Pro will actually just put them out of commission for a bit of the clash. And then other members of PUP can just do their work. And then SLU don't have a counter for it. Tapos nandun pa yung, yung parang juicy bait uh, figure ni Kenji Hu. Because he's 8, 1, and 9 right now. And he's yeah. so difficult to kill. Even with Despite the, the all-ins kanina, nakita naman natin. Yeah. And yun nga, wow. oh, look at that, aggressive. I know I'm gonna kill you. Chaos are being laid out. Knew it. Just tanking. He activates the barrier. Will it be able to live? No, that's a legendary Kenji Hu. <laughs> I prolonged it too much there. Yeah. <laughs> the who. Kenji who. Dapat yung who pala yung pernolong. Anyway. Who? Where's the L? Where? Okay. okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yung kanina clash na last nakita natin. Not the pick-off, but the clash. I'm not sure why the Nocturne had to go in. They know that they're behind in items. They know that they're behind in damage. They should have left the Thresh alone. So parang pa isa isa yung ginawa nila kanina. Yeah. And that tra that translated into a free Baron. And it was even a 4v5. Maybe because they were confident that they could take them on in a 4v5. Because they saw the victor down below. Look at that light, righteous glory activated. Play doesn't hit anyone. He eats the cocoon right in the face. Melt is unstoppable. And right now, look at that victor. Sobra brave niya that he knows he has a gun. Yes, yes, he does activate it. Spiral, just trying to disrupt everybody. Double kill na itong Elise natin. Guys, ban yung si Elise. I don't want to deal with this either. <laughs> in in rank, yung ganitong Elise, my god, 1117. And that is um, SLU struggling to protect everybody. Kukun, lo that lockdown, man. Yeah, this is gonna be PUP here finishing off the base of SLU with a... 20,000 gold leads. Oh! Minutes wow. That's a brave monsoon from the Janna. Just to save my AD carry. Oh, Spiral taken. Fountain hit. I will dash onto the minion. Look at that. The micro wing is oh. real. And that will be a Jeja Breezy killing spree. Godlike na itong Elise natin. It's just the Nexus ng Natitira and the Maokai. And that is a congratulations to PUP. After 26 minutes, they will take game one. Killing spree in the Jeja Breezy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grab it. I'm actually no? laugh there. And yeah, just looking into it, how um, PUP just finished off the game, mm -hmm. it was just, I have to give it um, the main reason why is that they were able to juggle the attention of SLU. SLU were a bit miss, um, like they didn't know who to, who to go for. Mm -hmm. It, it worked well for them that una pa lang because Knight and Niue were actually only looking into Kenji Hu to get the kill. They got the immediate kill, first blood for Niue, good start for SLU. But then as the game progressed, the boy and Melt went into the factor of PUP. And then yeah. pag, nag, uh, pag nag, uh, gank ng SLU, nandun sila palagi, they were for a counter engage. And then SLU were a bit uh, misorganized in their clashes and then uh, PUP just capitalizing on that and a little bit of another miscommunication probably coming in from SLU because yung sa mo na kanina yung try tinatry na nilang pasukin yun but hindi pa rin nangyari parang yeah. 45 situation they thought that they could get the the, the kills pero but Thresh died on early so it was yeah. a 4v4 yes at the start na rin so yeah it's pretty uh, bad since ano eh, like two of their members weren't damage dealers three of the damage dealers that SLU had didn't have the items that they would really have wanted mm -hmm. at that point in time against the itemizations coming in from PUP so yeah just I have to give it to PUP for just playing out that game really well I just have to give it to the boy as well as to Melt for initiating a lot of yeah. very good plays there 12-1-8 man at least yeah 20 kill participation that's around 70 60 percent of the team skills and then the boy with 28 assists mm -hmm. so yeah he's been everywhere yeah good job to both teams though but yeah active beast takes this game for themselves yeah all right so guys what do you think about game one between chess gaming and active beasts the well we thought that chess gaming would have been like the strategic you know, chess, because it's chess gaming. But it didn't work out for them, and Active Beasts just went beast mode onto the members of chess gaming. I just have to give it to Active Beasts there for being pretty active in the Summer Rift. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but kudos as well to chess gaming for showing us, well, a good performance overall. Yes, so, both teams. 
kudos. Yeah, kudos to that. So, guys, we'll be back after a short break for game two. That will be. Yes, Greyhawks. Schedule. Yeah, Greyhawks Esports Technological University of the Philippines versus USC Warriors. That's University of San Carlos. Yes, so I am GS Asurai, or rather, Bad Boy Asurai with an eye. And of course, alongside here with me is. Seatmate Miku. And this is the Law Collegiate League 2015 Summer Term Group Stage Week 8. We'll be, we will be right back. back.